There's a hole in my bus. <laughs> Each window has a number. There is some weather stripping stuck up in here that we pull out. And this will expose a screw. Right here, there's a screw. Yep, that comes out. As well as four screws among these rims here. After I removed all the screws from the inside of the window, Barb is going to remove two of the screws from the outside of the window. As well as some of this extra caulking. We just peel all of this. Here we use the bus without all the windows. There's the windows ready to be cleaned. It's wiping the windows with mineral spirits and, and vinegar. Vinegar! In attempts of getting all of this extra sticky stuff up. That stuff. Very thin layer of, the, of sticky stuff. It's very hot today. I think the bus is really cute without windows. <laughs> Fun. I am so excited for what's to come. Outside edges of the windows all have these layers caught on them. It just kind of comes off in a strip like this. I'm talking about moving slow. I think I'm just gonna use the brush and see what happens. Alright. That definitely didn't get all of the caulk off, and I'm gonna have to go through and peel it um, to get the rest, but it did help. So I'm starting them all on the inside. White rust happening on it. One side of four windows done. I'm one fourth of the way through sanding these now. Only three more fronts to do, and then I'm gonna goo gone. I got all of the like, gunk and stickiness off of them, so they're nice and clean. We waited 25 minutes and opened up all of the windows so that we can get the other angle. And we're just doing a second coat. This morning, I'm going to be painting it on the side. Satin peacock blue. It's going to be the interior color. What do we have here, Erin? This is beetle tape that we have stored in the refrigerator for the last couple of hours. And what are we going to be doing with the beetle tape? We're going to bake it at 375 for 15 minutes. Oh, really? <laughs> with what? <laughs> the outside land right now. Oh my now. god. Yeah. Are we really baking it? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> I was like, does that activate it or something? <laughs> We're going to use the beetle tape to outline the edges of the window frame. Okay. And then we're going to pop the window into... Okay. Gifted. Is it going to be a problem it's going over way. where the screw is? It's going to go on this side, right? No. <laughs> I don't want to just ballpark this and then end up with sticky, icky goo all over everything that it doesn't need to be. Give it a go? Yeah. Give it a go. I don't <laughs> 
This is really frustrating. I wish that like either our research lined up or we talked about this prior to standing in the 106 degree heat and about to do the project. So we actually have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> but it seems like this lines up. Off the <laughs> <laughs> she's in. No, no, she's not. She's not. Oh. So maybe more on the front than on the sides. Let's see what. Seems like that went in a lot more smoothly this time. I have a lot of wood in the back of my car. This, right along the edge here. This is our third attempt at the butyl tape. At the butyl tape window, and it is also the third different way <laughs> that we have decided to do so. Making sure this is right on the edge. This is the stuff. Butyl tape. The first step of butyl tape is absolutely you just shove it in the fridge. Leave it there. It says so right here, and it's true. It's a very good idea. Butyl tape, like. Melt. I'm going to put that a little extra on the corner. I think this needs to go in more. There we go. Okay. The moment of truth really comes when you go to put the screws in though. Will it go in? <gasps> that it will, and it does. Woo woo, seems that this method has worked the best so far. Until this happens. It just has to go in at a weird angle, I think. Right, like maybe more up. One way to check is to poke the hole Prior to sticking the screw in. Ah, Oof. yeah, you're right. Oh. Forward. <laughs> nice. So the butyl tape situation ended up being a little bit messy as it sounds like it always is. As you can see here, there is a significant amount of the tape still sticking out from the sides of the window on the bottom. I am going to push the butyl tape up and into this crack just to seal it off. And then I'm hopefully gonna smooth it down using, oh, using soapy water. One to one soap and water. The first step is simply to push the butyl tape from here up into a ball along the edge there, like this. I'm gonna dip my gum in this here soapy water. And I'm just gonna rub it along the edge, push it all in. Full disclaimer I have absolutely no idea if this is gonna work yet or not. I've wanted to find somebody doing this on the internet for a long time and I can't. So here I am, being the YouTube video I want to see in the YouTube land. This is just a method that I've made up after reading a couple of different blogs and other people's experiences. Fingers crossed. Ta-da! As with most projects, I got better at this the more I tried. And each window so Looks better than the last. Ooh. 